I'm so bad. Psych, that's the wrong number. Oh, hello. We fell in my way, teammate. I don't can't have you in my way. How did that miss? Oh, it's because the Ryan's over. What is going on you guys? It's your boy Ferg here back again with another brand new video. In this video, we are going to be discussing the top five best attachments for you to use on any gun in Call of Duty Mobile. And by popular request, I am going to put on some gameplay in the background while I talk about this. So you'll be seeing gameplay from my stream earlier today. If you're interested in watching me stream, I stream every single day for at least six hours in my second channel, linked down below. Without further ado, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new, turn on post notifications if you want to be notified of when I live stream or of when I upload a video here on my main channel or on my second channel. And let's get into the gameplay and let's discuss the top five best attachments for you to use on any gun inside of Call of Duty Mobile's multiplayer. So coming in at that number five spot, it is none other than the laser sight. Now, some of you may or may not have used the laser sight before, but basically a quick rundown of what it does is it pulls your crosshairs tighter when you're spraying from the hip to give you a much more accurate hip fire spray. Now this is really, really useful on assault rifles and SMGs when you're running and gunning. If you're camping, this would not be as useful for you because obviously you're camping and you're scoped down your sight. But if you're a runner and gunner like me and you like a lot of action and fast paced gameplay, the laser sight is absolutely amazing and you should definitely, definitely use it. The only downside to the laser sight is it doesn't help you at all when you're aimed down your sight. It's literally just for when you're hip firing. So it's only gonna be useful when you're hip firing at a close range. With that being said, it's a great attachment, so let's get into the number 4 spot. Coming in at that number 4 spot, it is none other than the stock. The stock is a fantastic attachment for both ARs and SMGs. What it does is it allows you to run faster while scoped down your sights. For example, if you were to run an assault rifle without a stock and you were to be scoped down your sights and you were to try to strafe, what strafing is, is when you go to the right or to the left while you're shooting your gun. If you were to do that without a stock, it would be very, very slow. But if you did it with a stock, it would be much, much faster, making you a much harder target to hit, especially if you're not jumping or proning and you're just moving. It is really, really, really good to use. So I definitely recommend this attachment for any of the newcomers, especially seeing that most of the newcomers to this game don't jump, slide, or prone at the same time as they're shooting. So this stock will allow you to be able to outmaneuver your opponents much faster than they could outmaneuver you. With that being said, I do love this attachment, but let's move on to number three. Coming in at that number three spot, this is a great attachment for both the newcomers to the game and the old veterans. It is none other than the extended mag. What this does is increase your magazine depending on what gun you're using, whether it's a rifle or an SMG. It will increase it between eight to 15 rounds. Every single gun gets that increase depending on which gun it is, of course, like I stated. But I love this attachment. I love it much more than fast mag. I believe it's way better than fast mag. Although fast mag allows you to reload your gun faster, it holds the same amount of ammo as a normal gun. However, obviously like I was stating, the extended mag adds more bullets, which is great because if you're going against a lot of enemies at the same time, extended mag will really help you out and you won't need to reload as often. This is also fantastic for noob players or players that are new to the game that cannot hit a lot of shots accurately because you'll have more shots in your magazine and hopefully you'll be able to land that final shot and get your kill. I use extended mag personally on every single one of my assault rifle classes and my submachine gun classes. I also actually use it in my best sniper loadout. If you want to check out that video, it is on my channel titled the best sniper loadout in COD Mobile. That is going to be it for the number three spot. I definitely recommend everyone using that attachment. Let's head into the number two spot. Now coming in at the number two spot, it was a difficult one to decide between, between two different attachments, but for the number two spot, I'm going to have to give it to the quick draw. Quick draw allows you to scope into your rifle or your SMG faster. Now this is absolutely amazing. Some people who are watching this video may not understand how great this is, but imagine this. You're getting shot across the map, maybe across the map crossfire, and you need to scope into your assault rifle or your SMG to try and take the opponent down. Without quick draw, you're 
gun will scope in very, very slow, but with Quickdraw, you'll be able to lock onto that person's head and quickly slice and dice them out of the game to secure the kill. This attachment is so, so beneficial and it ramps up how fast you can actually scope in by so much that it was so close to getting that number one spot but it just couldn't take it. However, I believe that this attachment is absolutely amazing for both assault rifles and for submachine guns. Submachine guns, it's great because you will be running and gunning with submachine guns. So as soon as you see someone, you can lock onto them super fast after a sprint. I would recommend using this um, attachment with the perk agile in the first perk slot. This is also great for veteran players as of course everyone wants to aim down their scope quicker and be able to lock onto enemies whether you're close or far away. So that is it for the number two attachment. I recommend this to everyone who has just started or who is a veteran or even a legendary player may I add in the game and I actually use this on every single assault rifle class. It is probably my favorite personal attachment but I don't believe it is the best attachment. With that said let's move on to the number one spot. Now the number one spot I believe it should be, be used by everyone. Everyone needs to be putting this on every single class at least for their assault rifles maybe for their SMGs depending on how fast pace you play but I use it on basically every single um, gun in the game and it is of course you may have already guessed it the foregrip. The foregrip actually makes your gun more stable. Now one of the most basically the most requested question on my live streams and in my comment sections right now is how can I control recoil better? What do I need to do to control my recoil? How are you so good at controlling recoil? Why does your gun uh, not have a lot of recoil? Are you playing on emulator because it seems like you don't have any recoil? Why are you using a controller? Why is there a mouse in your face cam or your hand cam? All of those kind of questions come up and I usually reply with this. Me, my recoil control is a basically a 50-50 between my experience in the game and my ability to be able to put on the freaking foregrip. I mean the attachment literally counters recoil. It is absolutely amazing. I recommend this to absolutely everyone like I said previously. It is so so good and so so useful that if you're not using foregrip you are at an automatic disadvantage in your loadout. It is unbelievably good. It reduces your recoil dramatically. The best guns that I would say that it is basically best for is the AK-117 and the Type 25. Both guns have little recoil at the start, but if you are able to put on a foregrip, it makes it just the most dominant weapon in the game. Both the AK and the Type 25 are superior weapons with this foregrip. Every gun in the game is a superior weapon with this foregrip. Now, before we end off this video, I want to do a honorable mention to the scope slot. Personally, I believe that you should be using a red dot on basically every single gun in the game because no matter what, the red dot actually reduces your recoil also. Now, you, some of you guys may not have known that and I guess now you do because you guys know what I like to do here on the channel. I like to give you my honest tips and tricks to help you guys improve because we're all in this community together and I basically just love Call of Duty Mobile and I feel like a lot of you guys too. So make sure to put on your red dot scope or your tactical scope. The tactical scope actually reduces the recoil by a little bit more but it's just not as useful because close range it's really really difficult to get a nice clean shot off but with the red dot if you're decent with the game I would definitely use it over the tactical scope of course if you're just starting out and you like to play a little bit slower the tactical scope will be a great option also but just make sure as the honorable mention to put on a scope onto your weapon I'm trusting you guys with this information I swear you should trust me back it will work greatly so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you are glad that I decided to put gameplay in the background instead of you guys just seeing a, a normal screen with my face floating around. Either way, it's been your boy Ferg. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you thought about today's video, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, and turn on notifications if you want to be notified of when I upload. Also, turn on notifications on my second channel if you want to be notified of when I stream. That is all for today's video. Without further ado, let's roll the outro. Bye!